Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. And it's a beautiful day. And it's a little gray and overcast at the moment, as you can see. About 77 degrees already. But as you can see, there's blue sky coming. So better conditions are on the way. And I'm excited to run up to the shop this morning and see how that old power queen's looking and hope I didn't see a voltage drop overnight. I came out late last night to check it and it hadn't done the, a drop even when the panels were, you know, completely off. So let's go look. And here I've got 860 watts of solar available and I only need about two or three watts. <laughs> The new MPPT 120 set for 48 volts is in absorption. And as you know, I'm trying to get this thing uh, healthy again. And the multimeter is reading 54.9. But it's what that MPPT reads that I'm interested in. I've got three watts coming in. Voltage 74.6, looking good. And there's my target voltage for the day, where it's gonna sit all day. 55.2 is what that should be. And it basically is, as you can see. Uh, but this is what I'm most interested in right here. So there we are today. And I wanna see what the minimum voltage was so it did not drop like it did in in previous days. And of course, I was doing a lot of hooking up of these components here uh, to get it to this point. So the minimum, minimum overnight until the sun hit those panels, 53.62. Uh, that's what I was hoping for. I was gonna be very disappointed if I saw another you know, crash like that. And it is holding it at 55.2 right now as it will for many more hours. It's been in there for a few hours already today. And we're gonna, like I said, let this go for about a week like this. Let's do a quick look at the trends and see, and let's get the voltage turned on there. Oops. And uh, right there. And there we are, this is live. This is the live here, and then this is going back in time. So yeah, right at 55.2. And it's been holding, you know, pretty darn steady. And even if I go back in time, we're back five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 30, one hour, two hours, five hours, and that says 12 hours. And we can see that it did pretty good. So yeah, it didn't do a complete crash. Finally, let's go back. There we go. So yeah, so everything we put into it yesterday up to 55.2, you know, it held it until the sun went down and it turned nighttime and even the voltage of the panels was basically completely gone but it held there. And then as soon as the panels caught any light this morning, right up to 55.2 and looking good. So yeah, this is what I wanna see now and, and hopefully this will come up a little and we'll start hopefully balancing that battery. And if not, like I said, we're gonna uh, rip it open and put a, a new BMS on there probably. So might just do that anyway. So yeah, that's what I was hoping to see this morning. And uh, yeah, so it only dropped to 53.62. Pretty happy about that. So I'll come back every couple of days and do just a real quick follow up like this and see what we can get accomplished on this. But whatever it takes, uh, gonna get this thing back into production, whatever it takes. I'm extremely motivated, and uh, I know I've got you guys covering my back, so I'm not worried at all. That thing's going to get up and running. And just in the few minutes that I've been up here, you can see the, the day is breaking out. 
it's going to be a sweet solar charging day. All of my systems are looking great. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll catch you on the next one. I'll keep you uh, posted on how this all goes. And uh, hope you're all doing well. Aloha, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, here comes the, here comes the real sun. And like I said, all my systems are looking great. So, and it's gonna be good to get that another 48 volt back up into action. As you guys know, that thing's been sitting there for months. And I've been, we'll say dinking around on it <laughs> uh, for much longer. Oh yeah, like I said, I'm gonna probably just let that uh, battery go. With those parameters I've got set for, I mean, maybe a week. You know, I've got it, like I said uh, yesterday, I've got the absorption set for six hours. So it's just going to hang there at 55.2 for six hours. And then, you know, I'll kick it up to, I don't know, 55.8 or something. And do that for a few days and just keep going slowly to see if we can't get it back up to... 56.8 where it belongs and not cut off. <laughs>